Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to McAdies Entertainment. I'm your host as always, Adam McGahey. Got yet another Cannibal Quickie for you all today, as we continue our non-stop coverage of the Marvel Zombies line of comics. In our last video, we covered the full tale of the eyeball munching master of electricity himself, Zombie Electro. I will have that video linked in the title card and in the description below. In today's video, we'll be going over the full legend of the spleen-sucking Spider-Man villain who would give Darth Vader nightmares, Zombie Sandman. Yes, even our boy William Baker, aka Flint Marco, was not able to escape the deadly virus that turned him and just about everyone else from his dimension into undead monsters. His story is sadly quite brief, but rather important to the overall arc of Marvel Zombies, so without further ado, grab your finest green striped shirt, sit back, relax, and enjoy the full gory story of Zombie Sandman. Who is he? Zombie Sandman, like most of the villains and heroes of his Earth, was infected with a mysterious virus from space that turned them into intelligent, hungry, rotting monsters. He made his first appearance in the pages of Marvel Zombies Dead Days number 1 back in 2007. He comes from Earth 2149, but his bizarre origins before the outbreak were very similar to that of his main universe counterpart from Earth 616. Flint Sandy Sunny Days, though, would soon come to an end one fateful day when a zombie version of Marvel Superman the Century came to the planet and began infecting the most powerful Avengers with the zombie virus. Being transformed within seconds, the heroes began snacking on every terrified pedestrian in sight and would proceed to infect any fellow hero who tried to oppose them. Like his fellow Sinister Six members before him, Sandman would be one of the first villains to become infected after getting bit by Zombie Spider-Man. Guys, don't ask me how that works though. All I know is getting sand in your mouth is not pleasant. Zombie Spidey definitely had to regret it that one. We then get our first and only partial look at Zombie Sandy as he then joins his fellow Sinister Six members as they battle the non-infected heroes in the streets of New York. He and the Hungry Boys would gain the upper hand in the battle where they would defeat and infect the remaining good guys. The plague would then spread over the Earth, turning it into a full-on zombie global pandemic. Upon eating nearly the entire world's population, the zombies would kick back rather sad, thinking that they were about to go hungry for a very long time. They would be mistaken though, as they would soon be met by the Silver Surfer, who arrived to the planet to announce the arrival of his master Galactus, who would soon arrive to eat it. Wanting to be the first ones to eat anything, the zombies defeated and eated the Surfer, where they noticed they got his cosmic powers in the process. Guys, I, I, I know eat it is not a word, but it rhymed, and I'm slowly going crazy making these videos, so I stuck with it. Been making these zombie videos for over six months, boys. Just Cut a brother some slack. They then use these new abilities to roast and toast Zombie Sandman and their fellow friends, who they proceeded to eat. While things were brief and bleak for our boy Flint Marco in this world, he would play a much more important role in years to come. After devouring the galaxy and its inhabitants for 40 years, the cosmic zombies would eventually be cured of their hunger, but mistakenly found themselves transported to Earth Z which was a dimension very similar to theirs before the plague took over. Zombie Spider-Man tried to start things off fresh as a hero on this world, but his hunger returned as a result of the dimensional travel altering his cells. He then lashed out and brutally attacked this world's Sinister Six, which consisted of this dimension Sandman during a heist. Flint watched it in horror as Spidey brutally tore and ate through his fellow comrades and finally set his sights on him. Informing this world's Flint that he had infected him back on his Earth and that his body tasted like dirt, Spidey still offered this Sandman the chance to be infected so he could see the light. Having his mind and entire perception of the world broken, Sandman fled the scene, claiming that he did not get paid enough to do this. Attaboy, Sandy. Ain't nobody got time for that. As he ran, Flint would soon be met by the non-infected Spider-Man of this world who arrived to stop the Six completely unaware of the brutal massacre that had just occurred. Spidey then went to stop Sandman, just like he always does, but Flint, also unaware of the multiversal madness going on, 
thought that this wall crawler was the zombie one and finally decided to put an end to this insanity. He then proceeds to beat Spidey into submission and then finally hits the man with a punchline of his own where he tells him to eat this. It is here that Sandman then uses his powers to enter Spidey's mouth and then overflows the dude's stomach with so much sand to the point that it legit explodes, leaving this world Spider-Man a sandy mess of busted bones and organs. Honestly, the, I see why Anakin Skywalker did not like sand. The, after seeing this, justifiably so. We then cut to zombie Spider-Man, who looks on at the chaos he had caused as the Sinister Six had now become zombies and had killed all of his closest friends. Swearing revenge, he then rips the villains apart and vows to find a cure for this virus to rid the multiverse of it once and for all. He then spends years researching the plague and then comes to work with this world's Rhodey who became the new Iron Man after his Tony Stark was killed by the zombie hordes. Prior to his death though, Tony had constructed special nanite robots that were capable of eating cancer cells and also proved quite effective at eating the necrotic flesh of zombies. Together, Zombie Spidey and Rhodey eventually found Sandman where they recruited him to work with them. They then laden his body with the nanites and kept him in a special jar where they then planned their attack. The men then formed a team with this world zombie Wolverine and Hulk where they dubbed themselves the New Avengers and baited this dimension zombie Avengers into war in the Savage Land. With Sandman webbed to his back, Spidey and his pals battled the Horde and waited until the moment was right, where he then had Wolverine toss Flint's jar and unleash the dude like a sandy Pokemon, where he then flooded the Savage Land with his body, which then unleashed the Nanites upon the Horde. Sandman then looked on at Zombie Spider-Man and the rest, who dissolved before his very eyes, relieved that this undead nightmare was finally over. And that is the full gory story of Zombie Sandman. While the Flint Marco of Earth 2149 barely had any contribution to the plot other than appearing in half a panel, his Earth Z counterpart more than made up for it by being the MVP who helped end this hellish threat to his world. Stories like this also show how powerful and threatening someone like Sandman can be when he's not holding back given his defeat of his world Spider-Man. Never back a man with waves and a green striped shirt in a corner, folks. He will clean your clock. Given that Thomas Hayden Church returned as the beloved Spider-Man villain in Spider-Man No Way Home, it does make me wonder if the dude will make an appearance in an upcoming season of the Marvel Zombies TV show. Sandman and Rhodey were some of the only heroes of Earth-Z to not be infected by the virus, so it would be cool if the show paid homage to the comics and had our Sandy Beach bro play a heroic role. Regardless, I'm hyped for the show and I'm eager to see what the plot will be. More than anything though, I want to hear what you think. Did you know this about Zombie Sandman? Was there something I missed? What other stories would you like to see us cover? Sound off in the comments. Also be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed today's content, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the music in this video, it was all made by my boy Agnes, you can check out his Spotify in the link below. You can also check out our Patreon, also in the link below. Thank you so much for watching, remember you are awesome and loved, God bless, and I will see you in the next one.